Let's talk about jaundice. Jaundice can be due to factors of bilirubin metabolism and excretion before, in, or after the liver. The mnemonic for this is hot liver for hemolysis, obstruction, tumor, and liver disease. Prehepatic jaundice leads to an indirect hyperbilirubinemia because this bilirubin is not yet conjugated. Generally, this is due to hemolysis. Common causes of hemolysis include glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, sickle cell anemia, spherocytosis, hemolysis of the newborn, transfusion reactions, alpha and beta thalassemia, reabsorption of extravasated blood, such as in a hematoma or internal hemorrhage in a patient who has had some sort of trauma or a surgical trauma. Intrahepatic jaundice can be further subdivided into direct and indirect hyperbilirubinemia. Indirect intrahepatic hyperbilirubinemia may be due to a decrease in the ability of the liver to take up bilirubin, which can be due to drugs such as rifampin, propenicid, and sulfonamides. This can also be due to inherited deficiencies in bilirubin conjugation, such as Gilbert's and Krigler-Nahar syndromes, as well as liver disease and cirrhosis. Direct intrahepatic hyperbilirubinemia may be due to diseases that allow bilirubin to be conjugated but not excreted, such as intrahepatic cholestasis secondary to cholestasis of pregnancy caused by high progesterone levels. Inherited defects in bilirubin excretion include Dubin-Johnson syndrome, which will have a black liver on MRI, and Roeder syndrome. Liver disease can lead to indirect, direct, or a mixed hyperbilirubinemia and can be caused by many things, including viral and autoimmune hepatitis, alcoholic cirrhosis, Wilson disease, which will have characteristic Kaiser Fleischer rings, and many more. Finally, post-hepatic jaundice leads to direct hyperbilirubinemia because there really isn't a defect in bilirubin conjugation. This is an obstructive jaundice commonly due to gallstones or pancreatic cancer, I'll link those lectures in the description, as well as pancreatic abscesses, cholangiocarcinoma, biliary strictures, and primary sclerosing cholangitis, which is most common in males with inflammatory bowel disease. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more great videos. Remember, if you don't want to miss it, look below and click it. Check the description for more great study resources.